Hello and welcome everyone. So as we talked about in the last video, which I know went poorly, um, rough day for Jund. They were all three close matchups though. A um, little heartbreaking, but it happens. Sometimes it's not your day, and that was just not my not my day. <clears throat> so today you're trying a deck that is one of my personal favorites. Um, Jeskai Black, Dark Jeskai, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was a deck back in. Return to Zendikar, or Rising of Zendikar, whatever you want to call it. That the second time we went to Zendikar, uh, with James Prince, Pro Jace Prince, Prodigy, and a lot of cards like this, it was one of the staple archetypes of the formats. It was a really fun, powerful deck that took advantage of the great mana of the formats, stretching across all four colors. Um, that's basically what this deck's trying to do in modern. It's not as power anywhere near as powerful as it was in the standard formats, um, just because it's kind of everywhere. Um, but it's still a fun deck to play. Um, this is a, another unique version we're trying again. Um, 10 1 drops, 14 2 drops, or 13 2 drops because there's a batter skull here, sorry. Um, we got 8 different 3 drops, all having different purposes. Uh, in the black white ver decks, Kaya or Zavi Super really impressed me, so we're going to try one of her today. Um, our 4 drop Planeswalkers, which is kind of the real. Actually, you know what? We, almost, we used to always play a Teferi Hero of Dominaria. I think I need to play a Teferi Hero of Dominaria now. So we're going to play it. We're going to cut one of the Thought Scours. Originally, I was only playing three Thought Scours, but I decided to play a fourth. Um, I don't know how important it is. We got two C Truth um, Teferis. We got a lot of card advantage in our deck. Uh, we really want to get up here. This is really where we want to get to really start doing stuff. Um, we still have Stoneforge Mystics, we still have, you know, Sword of Fire and Ice, Kai's Gal Makes Token, Teferi, Kaya Orzov Usurper. Crackling Doom, notably one of the best cards against Boggles, um, because I hate that deck with the passion almost more than just about any other deck. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and try and see how this goes. Um, again, if you guys have watched this channel, we've played quite a few different versions of Jeskai Black. Not all of them have done good. But I usually enjoy them, so we're going to try that today and see how it goes. Hopefully we at least get a 3-2. Um, if not, if we don't, then... Alright, let's go ahead and hop into some matches here. Also, if you guys want to see your deck played on the channel, go ahead and check out my Patreon in the description below. Um, if you guys aren't interested in being coming a Patreon, but you, are in, you would like to see your deck played, I do have... An option for donation leagues. Uh, go ahead and hit me in the comments, um, or hit check out my Twitter, also in the description below. Um, you can message me on there. Um, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and hop into some games here. Let's have some fun. All right. So let's talk about the hand. Uh, it looks great. We got four lands, all our colors: Stoneforge, Snapcaster, and Fatal Push. Uh, so we got great removal. And a good threat and a good value creature. So, about all I can ask for with a deck like this. Uh, okay, they're burn. So, that swamp's a great draw. We're going to play this Rug Rain Triome, though. Oh, they're red white. Ew. Dahlia. Alright. Alright, we're gonna leave this up in case they try to go um full arbiter on us. Yep. Hmm. 
I'm in a very awkward position here. Kind of a stalemate, if we're being honest. <clears throat> it's not really a stalemate, because they can keep attacking us. The second we put our shields down, we they can wasteland us. Yep. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay. Kill you. So they could have ghost quartered me here and forced me to pay for the for it, but generally I oh you know what maybe we should have grabbed Stoneforge or I mean uh, the other one. Row, row. I will happily pa take the path. Um, let's get the white source. Nope, for me. They got a full handful of cards here. They probably have a um, flicker wisp. Hmm. I didn't see them reveal the Luris. That's a problem. That is a problem. Yep. Yep. Uh, here's the issue. If we lose our... Uh, that germ gets bounced or anything like that, we're going to lose. Hmm. They can use this to attack through us, but... And obviously they have a flicker wisp that kill us here, so it doesn't even matter. How's our sideboard set up for this matchup? Correct answer is it's not. And we're just dead. Cool. Sounds about right. Alright, so timely reinforcement, supreme verdicts, Chandra can come in. <clears throat> Don't really care about the fairy. Don't really care about the fairy. Uh, don't really care about Kaya either, I guess. Try that. Yep, that was that was very unfortunate. Um. I don't know. I don't know what we could have done there to make it any different. We were in such a bad spot. I think because we had so many lands, I think the right play was to. Was to just. Uh, Alright, I mean. This is a hand.
Yep. Seal of fire, sure. We do have to worry about Magus of the Moon. Yeah. I think I like playing this one better. We have very few double red spells in our deck. Sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna shock this in. I feel like I need to. Um, you have to go land Leon and Arbor. Second Copter, okay. Let's cycle this. Stoneforge. Yes. Batter Skull. Best news is we already have... Alright, kill it. That's fine. Again, we have five mil We have five lands. So Seal of Fire killing our Stoneforge is not that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, you're getting that attack. Yep. Uh, yep. Kill you. Hmm. Play you. I guess let's see the truth. Mm. I like Lightning Helix better. <clears throat> yep. Dahlia. Okay. Hmm. Blue, black, blue, white, white. It's gonna the blue source. Lower the hand. All right, nice. I can dig. Uh, let's go me. I don't want to give them any more fuel for their uh, Luris. Yeah, and we're not gonna we're not gonna uh, batter skull because I don't want this resolving and them getting any value out of it.
Also to note, we can actually snap Drowned and Helix all in the same turn here. Fetching. Siemens tapped. Hmm. As much as I'd like to do that, I'm not going to. I'm going to sit back and wait. Field me. Yeah, we'll let it go. So I can still snap, drowned, and helix. Sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Blue white, blue black, see the truth. Actually I will take the second snapcaster. She can't protect herself, so. I mean, at this point, they get a double cast two spells. They can cast Lurus and one other, but we know they're only playing one Lurus in their deck, so. Hmm. What do they have? They can cast Seal of Fire right now from their graveyard? Black, blue, snap. Yep. We're going to have an interesting situation of trying to deal with this. Loris because protection and stuff but cast seal of fire kill snappy one two three four and three mana it's still not good enough hmm Yep, and unfortunately, no matter what we do here, they're going to get an activation with this next turn. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's go shock this in. Snapcaster. See the truth. Cast, see the truth. Well... Believe it or not, each opponent sacrifices a creature, each opponent, so all cards from each opponent's graveyard. White, black, blue. I'm just going to keep the seal of fire alive, but... I mean, other than that, this is not horrible. I guess maybe we should have attacked and then see if we could have gotten the seal of fire off out of him as well. Alright, they're cycling their land. That's a good start for us. 
It's casting the seal of fire. That's even better for us. Yep. Anthro Vile, sure. This card we just don't care about right now. Yep, Sacrament for three. All right. Let's actually go Narset here. Go red. Chandra. Down goes Luris. I will happily go and get in Island. Yep, I will happily go get my last basic. Mm hmm. Interesting. They want to see what kind of basics we have left in our deck, I guess. Um, maybe because of Luris, we're more interested in graveyard remo removing their graveyard. Your Crackling Doom is not quite a card we want. Maybe Crackling Doom and Chandra aren't the cards we want. Maybe let's try the Ashoks. Because they're really good counters against the Lurus. Hmm. That feels good so far. Oh, and uh, in case I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video again, guys, I do apologize about only one video again this week. But, or not one video, I'm sorry, about the, the, the minimum number of videos this week. Obviously, it's not what I want. But unfortunately, just with the way things are working out right now, it's just how things are going. Um, I promise, as soon as I get the chance, I'll get more videos going. Please don't lean on Arbor me, bro. Okay, Thalia. I can deal with Thalia. Alright, let's go... Blue white. Um, yeah, let's get Batter Skull. We're not likely going to have a creature in play here anyway. No block. Obviously, if she survives, that's big game, but I highly doubt she does. Yep. Feel free to strip mine me. Yeah, you do. Yep. You can have the strip mines. Those are fine. I don't care. Yep. Wasteland.
Yep. No double block. Interesting. I was very much so expecting one. Sure. Yep. Either way, they block, we're getting a two for one here, so. Mm hmm. Both go down. Play a second stone forge. All right. Now next time we're getting work done with the sword. Let's take arbiter and oh they might oh no they can't field me this turn and arbiter. All right, they're just going to hand. That means our good old girl Ashiok's actually coming down this turn. Fetching. I don't want to take the damage, but I'm going to. Bye bye graveyard. Again, we want to save as many basics as we can because of Field of Ruin and Ghost Quarter. Mm -hmm. um, so you get to kill one and we eat the other. Unless you have a path. Alright, you can hit Ash Shack for two. Yep. Mm hmm. That's fine. Who are you naming? Stoneforge, I assume. Batterskull is also actually a great name here. Yeah, if you name Batterskull, I can't actually uh, equip it and attack with the Stoneforges. No, the name is Stoneforge Mystic. How odd. Cleric, okay. Well, let's see how this goes. So we have black, blue, white. We need another black source. Equip. Mm hmm. Yep. Pop my graveyard. Yep. Man, I'm just going to exile their graveyard because if we don't, they're going to play Luris. And get back Reversal Clerk. And just keep doing this whole. 
Block, don't block shenanigans for the rest of the game. Yep. Give her. Seal of fire. Can't cast because you don't have mana. Lovely. Mm. All right, let's go. Yep. Quip. Mm-hmm. Do I want to... Mm, no, if they have a land, they can go lure us, play it. Damn it. And they can already make it unblockable if they really, really want to anyway, I guess, so... Yeah, we can actually entwine Kaya's Gal right now. Nice. All right, let's just entwine Kai's Guile. That's right, I forgot. Yep. Yep. Protection. Sure. Yep. If that's how we're spending our turn, I'm happy with that. Mm hmm. Yep. Alrighty. They saw the writing on the wall where we equip both things to the spirit and start beating down. Alrighty. We got round one there. A little bit of a long one, but that's okay. It was fun. Um, we'll be back in soon with round number two. Alright. Our hand feels a little slow. I think we can do better at six. Alright, yeah, I think this is better. Um, black, white. Yeah, I think we'll put the uh, Orzhov Usurper to the bottom. Actually, this can go try one of our Triomes. Oh, shit. Never mind, we're bolting this. Never mind, we're bolting the bird. The only deck that actually plays Line Orals is Elves, so. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So we get black white here, we can. Kill. I think we're going to go for killing whatever they play.
Yep. Real green triome. No, sorry. Savai triome. Mill them. Ooh, Dreadboar is good. Um, I think we're actually going to go ahead and uh, Dreadboar the Arch Druid instead then. I need to draw another black land here, I think. We have four mana now. Now they're a scary amount of mana. Although if they let us if they if they pass the turn to us, we do have drown the lock to kill. Ooh, other elf creation group plus four. Ooh, okay. Imperious, perfect. Me so likey. Me so likey very much. All right, we're taking two here. Again, would love to draw a, another land. Snappy. All right. We can line up a snap bolt here. Works for me. Also, don't mind a little trader roo here. I doubt they'll give it to us, but I don't mind one. Ooh. Again, doubt they're gonna give us the trade, but I'll happily take it. Let's go to Fairy. Bounce you. Put you in a play taps and pass. Coco? Nope. Elvis Champion into Elvis Champion. Alright. I can dig. I can super dig. All right, let's go. Yes. Um. I think we're just getting batter skull. Plusing this, and we're gonna pass. It's five mana. Unfortunately, I think we just have to counter this. Then potentially drawing four or five cards is not something we can really do. We can just sit here and let them happen. Actually, post board, we have a lot for this. Also, note if they attack with this, we're just going to double block it and let them have the trade. Yeah, right? So we just hard cast a batter skull? I think that's right. Um, or do we Kaya's Guile here? It's plus. Okay, so if I go black, white, black, white, red, then we have one. Nope, we're, we're a color off from me. I'll do that. So I guess let's just go. There, just slam the batter skull. It's gonna a black blue land. Yep. Mm hmm.
All right, let's see how they're blocking here. Darn. One, two, three, four, five. I only have six mana, so do you want to sacrifice a creature? Do you want to sacrifice a creature to make a one one, I guess? Red, white, black. Bolt you. All right, you got two cards in hand and not a lot going on. I do kind of like this like beatdown feel of elves, but at the same time, just jamming a dozen lords doesn't always work. Oh my god, and they had another lord. Oh, thank god we don't play forest in this deck, right? Like, holy crap. Alright, let's go ahead and mill them real quick. I like it. Alright, so I need black, white, red. Um. Yeah, alright, we'll do that. Yeah, let's go and bounce that one. Nice. White, red. Stoneforge. Yes. Sword. And let's just push this guy now and pass. Post board, we're going to have a little bit more difficulty dealing with the fact that they're going to have probably four Veil of Summers coming out of the board. Um, yeah. Probably four Veils. I will bring that in as a potential sweeper. Uh, Gusts are also a conversation. I think Teferi Gideons can come out. Orzhov Usurper can come out. Maybe we don't need the Chandra. No, I think Chandra is the best one. I think it's the best way to win the game. Um, I think Gust is fine, I guess. Let me cut it to Fairy. Is Fairy actually any good here? Let's try this. I don't think Teferi's bad. I think he's got a lot of upside to him, but I don't think he's particularly where we want to be at. And again, like, Teferi's not one of the cards that's, like, winning us the game here. Like, these are all cards that can win us the game, and we're still cutting them. We're bringing a card that is much more powerful in Chandra Awakened Inferno that can win us the game. Um, and we're still keeping in our other two Planeswalkers that have winning potentials, as well as our Stoneforge package with Batter Skull and Sword of Fire and Ice. And they may not have a good way of dealing with the Batter Skull. They may not have uh, Black for dis uh, stuff, so they may only have Dismember. Um... They could have Beast Within in the board, but that gives us a 3-3 three, three threat. Um, this can get us red-blue, or red... Yeah, red-blue. Alright, this isn't the hand I want, but this is a hand I'll keep. Yep. Blue red, I can helix. My money's on them playing a three drop lord here. No. Worse. They're gonna play a bunch of stuff. Alright, we're killing the three drop lord, that's for sure.
Yep. Uh, so I think one of these is going to go fetch the... God, this is so bad. I'm just taking a beating here. A six from that. Yeah, unfortunately... I guess this does kill this. It stops some of our bleeding, but... Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think our best way of winning is finding Supreme Verdict. Well, Once Command is the next best thing, I guess. Yeah, we're maybe it was better to Kaisgal this turn, make him sack one of these dummies. This slamming of the Lord, we're in trouble. To be fair, we're already in trouble with what they got on board right now. Alright, the last card was not Veil of Summer, so it'd be one, two, three, four. So if alright, hold on, let's go. Oh, this was dangerous. I just realized this was bad. This doesn't play around Veil of Summer. Alright, they're making a token. They can hit us for four down to one. And then we go... Sack creature gain four life. Black, white, blue. Nope. In the moment, we're still dead to a lord, so that's unfortunate. Yep, that doesn't help us in the slightest. I guess the Supreme Verdict off the top could potentially save us, but unlikely. Yep, that ain't going to do it either. Yeah, gain two life. We wouldn't have enough mana to cast on the spell, and we'd be dead. Yep, all right. Because you gain us life, you're appealing. Let's run you because you gain us life. Um, oh, actually, Timely is also another one that's not bad. I think Timely over Gust is actually probably better. Because don't get me wrong, Gust does deal with their stuff for a little bit, or potentially they put it on the bottom of their library. But I think the life gain and creatures are more important than just temporarily stopping one of their things because they're an aggressive deck. Also notably there, we didn't even live long enough to get to Chandra, so... Yeah. Kind of uh, kind of hard to win the to use Chandra as a removal spell when we don't even live long enough to get there. Hmm...
It's definitely the kind of deck matchup where I wish we had like angers and stuff like that, a little bit lower down removal, but I think on the play we have a much better chance. Um there I think the issue was we just we needed to find a verdict and we just couldn't get to one. Um I think there's also maybe some mismanagement with life totals. I think there's possibly a world where we could have had a couple more life, but I still don't think it would have mattered enough. I will play first. All right. Black, white, red. I mean, we got three removal spells. Unfortunately, they're all two, they're all uh, sorry four removal spells. Unfortunately, they're all one for ones. Now I'm perhaps taking another one for one, I guess, because they get a land out of the deal, but still. Again, path is not going to be for a mana dork, right? Path is going to be for a bigger threat. So I will, I'll dread bore this, but I won't path it. Remember, every one of their creatures, once they start getting lords, is going to be a threat. And right now, what this is going to allow us to do is buy us a chance that we don't have to necessarily kill a lord or everything they play for the rest of the game. Right, let's play this land. I'm hoping to be able to fetch and go get a triome, but for some reason I have to play one of these. I don't. I, I'll do that. Sure. Yeah, um, I don't think I need another black, taking two, um, yeah, black, red, white, yeah, we're good. Mm-hmm. About to choose one of these to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna path that so that they just make a one one, or they don't. They just make a two two instead of a. Yep. Instead of you know making a uh, two two and a one one. Yep, the stampede. How many hits do we get? Two. Nice. This does suck because that makes this Kaya's Guile less good, but meh. Although that, on the other hand, looking really nice. Black, blue, I 
Yikes. Made the wrong choice there. Yep, I'm going to go get... Mountain. Um, yep, let's just do that. I'm going to sacrifice that one. Yep. Alright, timely. Not what I wanted, but it'll work. Yep. Please attack for two. No. See the truth. Yeah, I would like to have not taken the Snapcaster, but I think the fact that we can Snapcaster and cast almost any of our spells from our graveyard is just super valuable. Yeah. I mean, again, I fully plan on just... Uh, Chandra is sweeping the board, so... See the truth again. Alright. There's some land drops here, that's unfortunate. I'm playing 25 of them too. Just for this reason, so we didn't miss these land drops as often. That's fine. Hopefully we'll get him into attacking. If they veil us, they veil us. Ooh, they did not. Nice. Yep, that's plus. Yep, down to five, or down to six. Make it Rex Age. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to see the truth now. All right. I mean, two fetch lines is not what I wanted to draw, but the bolt is nice. They're flooding hard. 
I'll leave the stampede is something stampede is something we want to avoid. Archdruid resolves. All right, now we're turning the offensive. Yep. Five damage coming across. Not a nine. Seven, six, five. Yep, that's game. Yep. All right, two and zero. Oh, we're back in smooth. Round number three. All right, all right, all right. Here we are, round three on the plate. Mm. Okay. Mm, it's gonna get us triome. The answer is gonna really be if Stoneforge Mystic is good or not. If Stoneforge is gonna be good enough, then uh the rest of it's gonna also depending on what they lead on, we might want to consider grabbing the sword this time. Normally I grab batter skull because sword's almost never gonna be live for us. Outside of on a stone forger on Snapcaster or something like that. The batter skull is the best one for us because normally it coming in with a four four is great for us. Also, the fact that we lead on Pluto Delta shows that them that we're a blue-black deck of some type, or fetching with blue or black. E. All right. Well, this does tell me that our Stoneforge Mystic is likely to be good. So, if I try them as the choice, that's another one. And again, I'm gonna grab Batter Skull. Um. Just don't actually see the sword ever really being live. And if they were to path us, I would take the path here. Probably gonna be an opt though. Nope, it's path. So I want. Blue. These are kind of high black requirement right now. Sweet. Nice. Snappy's pretty good. Snappy's pretty good here. He's pretty good. Hey, he's pretty good. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything we're going to crack this for, so I can almost certainly go get a triome next turn ourselves. Um, That's Harpit Saps here, and we're going to pass. Tarpit's really good for fighting against their Planeswalkers and stuff. Um, something you may not know about me is Tarpit is my favorite man land. I love me some Celestial Colonnades, but not much beats a Tarpit. Sure. All right. Unfortunately, our opponent's got a handful of cards that are probably good, and our hand is full of cards that are not. Um, 
We have a very hard time against control decks. That is one thing we uh, we don't have a ton of big threats. So I post board this Chandra Awakening Inferno is so important. Mm. Now let's go. Exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard. Actually, we have six. Yeah, exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard. Each one sacrifices a creature. Let's go white. Mm. All right, I'll fight it. Ugh, it feels worth it to get rid of their graveyard here. Yep, like I said, it feels worth it to get rid of their graveyard. Plus, we have our Snapcaster still, so we can still cast this back again. Yep. Um... Yeah, it could be a path, but if that's what they got, that's what they got, then. Yeah, path. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad. Yeah, that feels really bad. Yeah, they just had the right card at the right time. Ooh, Teferi's pretty nice. Teferi is pretty nice. The reason Teferi is so nice is because it's going to stop us from... Uh, the only ones that can't cast our spells. Yep. We got a dread board that we'd really like to see. Also, see the beyond, see from the beyond, or whatever. See, see the, tr see the truth. What was called? Ooh, they just got double burn spells. I'll take it. That was a two for one. I will a hundred percent take it. Um. And hmm. now we'll just pass. So fizzle the ability. Six mana, huh? Well, 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 what do we got here? Let's go B skull again. Ooh. 
Logic not X equals five. Wow, that sucks. We cannot, in fact, pay it. Let's go ahead and exile each opponent's graveyard, make a 1 1. Yes, I know the 1 1's likely going to get exiled, but that's fine. Keeping them off a graveyard is good. Plus, if we tick this down so that it's gone, it's good for us as well. Yeah, you see, they now have Mystic Sanctuaries active. But. I need to actually get to them. Beautiful. We're going to go and Guile, make a token here. I think we can gain some life. Well, attempt to, I should say. Um. Can I do that? This guy's with flashback. Not doing anything else this turn. I mean, I know they don't have any cards in the graveyard, but... We can't cast our spells during their turn anyway. Actually, yeah, let's, let's animate you. Let's make sure the sucker dies. You have two burn spells? Oh, you have snap bolt. Very nice. Very nice. So kill it, trade. Nice. Well played, opponent. Well played. Well played, opponent. All right. <clears throat> Opting. They're digging. Hmm. Sword. Yep, you know that that was a mistake. That actually opened us up to the Archmage's charm. That was uh if I would have been smart, that would have been obviously the wrong play to make. But uh, I'm not smart, so yeah. Now they get to get they get a sanctuary back to Archmage's Charm. Although, to be fair, I guess it's better than them getting to uh, just draw four cards off the one Archmage's Charm. So yeah, there's that, I guess. Yep. I'm going to draw three cards. Sorry, two cards. Uh, but they do draw the Scalding Tarn immediately. Which is absolutely frustrating. I mean, these other two cards are just garbage. Yeah, so we've only gone through one snap. Yeah, we really want to draw the second snapcaster for this. Yikes. Yep, fetch, grab sanctuary, put Archimedes Charm back on top. 
This card should have either been. This card really, sh really is just obnoxious. It should not have been made an island. And I know people like saying someone should lose their job for bad decisions that Wizards makes. But I feel like someone seriously should have gotten in trouble for making deciding that it was a even a remotely good idea to make this an island. Yeah, we only have one fetchable basic left. Yeah, I'm gonna let it fade. Alright, well I'm I'm gonna hope they don't have a counter spell in hand. Oh, the way this is going doesn't feel like they have a counter spell. Oh, it also feels like it doesn't even matter because our draw was awful. Yep. That Chandra, huh? Okay. Okay. I mean, kill it. Also fetch. That's beautiful. That is uh that is a very beautiful thing here. Actually let's go let's just do it now. Turn snap make you discard. Mana leak? Wow. Alright. Cryptic Command, Bouncing Mystic Sanctuary. No, just Cryptic Drawing a Card. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Chandra. Um, it actually does more damage, so I'm gonna cast it. Hmm. Well, that's Sacred Foundry's out of our deck, finally. And it looks like we might have this one won. Don't want to get my hopes up too soon, but... Uh-oh. Let's push that puppy. And then bolt my Chandra. Yikes, not at all a card we wanted to draw. Now our opponent's got time to draw counter spells out the ass. Well, I mean, at least we have answers to Planeswalkers, but still, not going to be good enough. Yep, Fate Seal me, I'm assuming. Oh, they're gonna brainstorm. Yep. 
Probably playing three Mystic Sanctuary, I'm assuming. Nope. Well, let's be smart here, guys. Lead on. It's a fairy. Yeah, shut them off so they can't counter our spell. Tick down. Scour them. Oh, wait. Is that lethal? That's lethal, right? White, red. Wait, what? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, that was a grind fest. So I want disputes. I want you. I want you. Those are all cards that are coming here. Kaya Orzov Usurper seems okay. Uh, paths are not a card I want. Um, we'll cut a stone forge. Where's that usurper? Seems a little off. Not sure if they're gonna keep in their board wipes. Hmm. Yes, let's cut a crackling doom. And then we we'll be lazy and just submit 61 cards. Because I don't know what the last cut should be. Maybe a fatal push, but... Uh, I don't know. It's tough to say. If I'm being completely honest, I really did not want to have this long of a match. <laughs> I uh, I really I was hoping to have a quick league, but this deck is a lot more grinding and controlling. So, I guess we'll see how it goes. Yeah, this sounds this sounds great. Let's keep it. Importantly here is we have lands. In control matchups like this, a big, big, big part of it is hitting your land drops, playing your spells on curve. These are all very important things. Also, they brought an Aether Gust against us, which is one of their best ways of slowing down or stopping our Chandra. Um, Aethergust is actually not that great against us because we don't have a ton of red cards that are high impact that really have to be countered. Or that have to be gusted, rather. Um, yeah, Triome. Uh, yeah, let's go Marsh Flats because, again... I'm expecting to have to go get the other get our triome, but I don't want to have to. Also, I would really, 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 really love to be able to catch a Teferi on their turn. Hmm. This could even be better, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's go to the Triome. Ooh, Big Daddy's a fairy. Important thing to note here is, uh, 
We are able to catch a Jace or something here this turn if that's what they go for. Awkward thing to note here is they also can catch uh, us. I'm going to hold fountain since we have so much blue and red and black already. Yeah, there's no reason to just not put it into play taps. Best case scenario could be next turn they try to go big to fairy. We go snapcasters dispute. And then we untap and go our big to fairy. Without getting forced. Uh, although, do we see force negation last game? I don't think we did. Um. All right, let's go here. Stoneforge. Yes, sword. And again, if they want a path, that we're gonna let it happen. I'm not in a fight in a path to exile mood here. Oh, we can't actually fight path to exile here. Helix is the worst. That's that's about I think the worst I could have they could have done for us. Alright, let's draw a colonnade. It's a fairy. Uh, all right. They can pay for it, but if they do, they can't get Mystic Sanctuary to get back their uh, their Archmage's Charm. Yep, pay for it. Yep, I mean that sucks. That that's the part of the game we're at right now. But again, it's it's pretty huge that they weren't able to get back this Archmage's Charm. Oh shit, that sucks. Well, fuck me, they just have it. Well. Let's see. Nope, they got a counter spell. Is the game just over now? That's the big question. Archmage Charm and one unknown. Yep. Yep. All right, so I think what we're going to do... I'm gonna let this resolve, and then I'm gonna immediately go each opponent exile each one uh, exile all cards from each opponent's create a one one exile and create a one one. It's gonna force them to spend another counter spell on the Kaya's Guile, or lose their graveyard, which is the most important part of this resolving, is losing that Archmage's Charm. Um, 
This does give us a, tar a thing to equip our sword to. But that's a much, much smaller factor than uh, than anything else. Yep, they're going to go after the Celestial Colonnade. All right, let's uh, see what you got. Ooh, no crypt command. Okay, that's good. Yep. Yep, that's definitely a little frustrating, but it is certainly what it is. Yes. Kill it. Yep. Figures I don't want to scour myself is I don't want to accidentally hit my Chandra. Eesh. Bounce to my hand. Scour myself. No. Can't say I'm too unhappy with what I hit. White, black. Okay, cool. All right. Yep. I mean, Search for Honor is a great card. I still really love that card. Bolt to the bin. Really? Holy crap, that's a surprise. Um white, white, blue, red, Gideon. So be one, two, three, four, five, six. They're trying to logic knot to counter our Teferi, I presume. Hmm. Yep. X is seven, huh? Okay. Getting down.
Snappy to the bin, huh? All right, take a look at yourself. Sure. Mm. Each one sacrifices a creature. Yep, alright, they concede. Alright, well, we're rolling at the nice 3 0 here. We'll be back in just a minute with the next round. Alrighty, here we are on the play for round number four. Um, I mean, this hand's not great, but I'll keep it. Definitely not excited about it, but it's got removal. It's got a sword. I'm going to lean on the Marsh Flats because I'm going to go to the Savai Triome. Ooh, Birds of Paradise. That boy dying. Um, I'm assuming they are the green, red, mint, no. Something completely different from what I expect them to be. Something completely different than I expect them to be. Alright, they don't search, which means whatever equipment they're looking for is already in their hand. Um Actually, yeah, let's just path it. I don't They said oops. I don't trust that they don't have it in hand already. Now here comes Jace. But Jace is not a card we can beat at the moment, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mwali Asmos. That's really bad. Their escape. Are they, are they like some kind of like. I don't know, man. You go in Blood Crypt, I guess. Exile each opponent's. Exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard. That's that's shitty. Okay, well, I definitely feel like we're just done, but cool, we'll keep playing, I guess. Arrow. Yeah. This is a matchup I think we have no chance of winning. This is just a... Like, Jeskai is a control deck that we can easily go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. Um, unlike any given day, I feel. But uh, these Uro decks, I don't feel the same way about <laughs> These these Euro based decks, I I feel like we just have no real. I just can't keep up. Great, what the hell are we gonna go get? Yeah, you know what? Let's just move on. Our hand is completely dead to what they got going on here. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Disputes are good, Chandra's good, Ashiok's are good. Um, let's cut Gideon's, let's cut Kaya. Actually, Kaya's good, never mind, don't cut Kaya. Cut Crackling Doom. Let's cut Fatal. No, they have, uh, they have whatchamacallits. Um, right, we're going to try to get them to play without a graveyard, so Drown and Lock's not great. Um... 
I don't know how good an R set it actually is, and I'm just going to send it for 61 cards, because I'm too lazy to cut another card. Yep. All right, let's keep it. This gonna this gives us all of our colors of mana. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna start just conceding the Bant matches because they're just not fun to play either. They're just like so grindy, but they're not grindy in like the fun way that like the Jeskai matchup is or the Jun matchups are. They're just miserable. Especially because apparently you can just play every good card that was printed from, you know. Printed for more of the spark and such all in one deck. Not just Warren Spark, but every every set that's been out since uh the end of twenty nineteen. Uh, yep. I do feel like these lands have created a significant improvement in our mana base. In a shadow of doubt me, you fucking have to be kidding me. Wow. Jesus H. Christ, man. That's so annoying. Yep, it's a fairy. I was hoping they were going to just not activate it, or not plus, not minus it. Ugh. Guess this is bolt it. Let's get Watergrave tapped and pass. I guess we already have Watergrave in hand, I guess we should have grabbed different land. Whatever. Yep. Fuck off, dude. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. Ugh. Look at that. The card we'd almost be at right now if it wasn't for all these stupid land destruction effects. Efforts is what I meant to say. I'm just annoyed. That's all this is. Oh, God darn it. Please don't shadow of a doubt me. I fucking hate this game. Uh, bro, you need to you need to get a life, man. If this is the best, tip, this is all you got. This is what you're spending your time doing. There, there are better decks to be playing the same exact strategy with. I hope you realize that, amigo. Like there are there are much better decks to be playing this exact same strategy with. Like, if you're going to sit here and try to make me miserable, at least kill me while you're, like, destroying my lands. Don't just, like, rampant escape shift or something that's going to kill me. Not this crap. This is boring to play against. Of course. Alright, let's just draw Ashiok off the top one time. A 
Hey, not Ashiok. Yay! It's fine. We get a. Let's see what we can do during their turn. Yep. If you're wondering why this irritates me so much playing against these land destruction strategies and stuff like this, it's just a they're the deck our opponents playing like uh, like cool. All right, awesome. Play cards you love. Do that. I love when people do that. That's that's great. Sure. Yeah. Thankfully they can't shadow doubt us now. And for anyone who's thinking, oh, they probably only play one. You are probably wrong. Thank hey, mana. Bolt that one. Yes, of the mana fade. If you're wondering why I did that, I did it because if this dies, this one's uncounterable already. This one can be countered. So that's the big reason I did that. Yep, you took your sprawl. Oh, uh, what kind of land destruction card you got now? Oh, you just fuck right off, buddy. Uh, that's so frustrating. Okay. Just remember, opponent, this is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. Yep, this is what you wanted. Mm hmm. Yep, one more to bring back Uro. So they just playing like four Ghost Quarter, four Shadow of Doubt, four Mavali Asimos. Is that the is that the game we're playing here today? If you're wondering, this is my I'm really not amused at this bullshit face. Mm. 
No. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I hate that. I oh, God, I'm so freaking annoyed. If I just concede now, is anyone going to be upset with me? Fucking gotta be kidding me. Uh, you gotta be joking. Cool. Yep. Uh. I mean, our entire hand's pretty much dead at this point. I got a handful of cards. We got nothing going on here. Cool. Ballista for one, two, three. Okay, Ballista's not good enough. Wait, why'd you plus it? Why don't I just start destroying the rest of my land so I can't actually spite any of the things you're doing? This doesn't make sense. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what I should have actually done? I should have actually attacked them, not... Yep. Hmm. Fuck, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, this is so frustrating. Just destroy my lands. Chandra, Awaken Inferno. Sorry guys, I know this is a miserable game to watch. I think we're done here. I'm, I'm done wasting your guys' time. Yeah, I'm, I'm done wasting your guys' time. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have let it go that long. This is just, I was wasting all your guys' time. I do apologize about that. Let's hop in the final round real quick. Alright, um, again guys, sorry about wasting your time there. Um, I'm going to keep it saying it's not good. Actually, excuse me. It's fine, We got most of our spells are castable with this hand. Um, if we hit another land, uh, alright, let's
Let's lead on that. This is likely Jund. Hmm. Or it could be black red discard. It's always a possibility. Could be the black red on a black red unearth deck. Yep, Inquisition. You got lots of choices here, opponent. Probably it's a fairy though, or bolt. It's a fairy. Push, push, bolt. Yep, no surprise there. Draw for turn. It is a card we don't particularly care about. Mm-hmm. All right. So big downside here is they are almost certainly the. Deck that's going to have two or three Colgons commands in the main board. It's a fairy. Um, I'm just going to get the value out of him now. Ooh, that is a good draw. That may be one they can't deal with very well. That may be one they can't deal with super well. That's exciting. Shirt, clean the dust. Yep. Yep. Gideon. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. So they can get Croxa back this turn. Which they do, we'll push it. Mm-hmm. Yep, here comes Croxa. I love this deck though so much. Star Confidant's fine. Yikes. The fact that Croak says a natural counter to drown sucks. That really sucks too. Really? That means you got a removal spell in hand for uh, Gideon or Celestial for uh, Colonnade? I like it. 
Please, please order these wrong. Dang it, our opponent is not new. They know how cards work. Okay. All right, so we just got we just got to hit a land off top and we win. That will also do the job. Whoo! All right. Gideon, buddy, old pal, friend of mine. Friend of mine. Uh, Gust is consideration. Um, these are consideration. These are consideration. These are consideration. I don't think we want Narsets. Uh, Cracking Doom's meh. Um, Trial Locks are actually don't feel great here. I think we're not going to bring those in. Um, I mean, this is an Awakened Inferno matchup either, to be honest. And I think actually that's fine. So we're just going to bring a Graveyard Hate, I guess. I guess that's what we're doing. Do I have something I'd want to cut for Awakened Inferno? I mean, it, it's they don't have counter spells, so it's not like that's super relevant. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. So... This hand has some perks and some downsides. I'm going to keep it. I'm lazy. I don't give a shit right now. The perks are we got two of our cards we really wanted to, to get. The downside is our mana sucks. Still sucks. Alright, Deck, you gotta show me some love, please. Do not make me completely regret this decision. Because I already highly regret it. Don't make me completely regret it. This is skeletal, these two are the cards going to the trash bin. It's not, it's so much worse. All right. Really, you stupid ass deck. Oh, that's so annoying. But we can kill this next turn, so that's good. So these cards are the cards that we can get rid of free, pretty much free of cost to us. Um, Lightning Helix is the most important card because it kills Liliana next turn. Ashiok Dreamender is very important. This card's sort of fire nice. We, we're not getting in with that you know, very, for a very long time. Let's go duplicate Lily. That's good to know. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> 
All right. Yep. That was all me. I shouldn't have kept that hand. Let's run it back. We should have kept. We should have mulliganed to find a hand that was more playable. Yep. That was my bad. This hand is very similar, but I think it'll be fine. All right, we're getting the Mardu Triome. Savai. Money's on Fatal Push. Money was correct. Next turn's likely just going to be a see, see the truth. Um, just because it's going to be probably the best... Yep, unfortunately, uh, uh they're going to have pillage here. Oh, uh, yep, this is bad. No, okay, not as bad. I like to talk about when we actually played this deck. This is just such a powerful deck. It is just not a particularly close comparison. Yep. All right, take your pick. What do you want? I'm assuming Stone Forge. That's probably the best one to take. So we're drawing the wrong half of our deck. We need to draw the Planeswalker half, not the Stone Forge value package half, because this package is not very good against them at all. Dreadbore. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm assuming one of their last three cards in hand is a Colgon's Command. Alright. Actually, do you want to... No, let's not do that. Yep.
Yep. Uh, that's fun. <sighs> now, of course, we draw a land. Wonderful. Uh, all right, we have four cards in hand. All right, I'm grabbing a swamp here. I'm gonna snap. We're gonna see the truth. Well, that was a pretty nice draw, if I do say so myself. And we have four cards in hand, so I wouldn't be too surprised that it's had like literally every card to deal with our stuff is that they could want, but still. Turns on Dread Boar. Next turn we can turn on Snap plus other spells. Yep. Snap. Boom. Yep. And again, we don't consistently get enough of our uh, colors in the play, or our islands in the play. First play Mystic Sanctuaries, like a lot of these, like a lot of decks like this would want to. Yep. Please edict. Thank you. Boom. Please don't have Colgon's command. Please don't have Colgon's command. Please don't have Colgon's command. Please, for the love of God, don't have Colgon's command. Fuck, they got Colgon's command. No, four mana. Boil? Oh, God. Boils a nightmare. Uh. Village. Fuck me. Uh, come on, kill spell. Not quite what the doctor ordered, but it'll do.
Sure. Uh, yep, we're getting to that point of just uh, being fucked. I'm, uh, I'm not a fan, to be honest. Yep. I mean, Boyle was big, but I don't think that's the, that wasn't enough to end the game on the spot. Yep, sack to Ferry for two. I'm assuming the last card's got to be pushed or something like that. Yo, fuck me. Oh, we don't have any islands left in the deck anyway. Lovely. Alright, well, they had literally everything they needed to beat us, which is fine. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, we still went 3-2. Um, overall, great record. Um, the fact that we lost our last two matches to... One of the decks I don't think we're ever beating just because Uro and those kind of decks have just way too much value. Um, and then losing to... We just drew the wrong part of our deck. Like I said, we needed to have the more Planeswalker uh, controlling shell. We needed the Gideons, the Chandra. We needed to get to Teferi, stuff like that. Never drew it. So, um, yeah, overall, like I said, the Black Red deck is sweet. Um, I, I feel like our opponent... just I, I mean... The nice thing is about that, like, we're one downside to playing a deck like this is we get caught by all the decks that have the, all the blue deck, the, the like, Uro deck hate. Because we get caught with all the boils, all the blood moons, we get caught with all that stuff, so. But, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, sorry that we're not going to get a lot of content out this week. Um, but still, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoy what content I do put out. Um, the video should come out on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Friday, I believe, is the way it's going to come out, so. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.